What's up guys, it is the Radman, and welcome to this random computer video, and I have no idea what it's going to be about, because it is a pre-recorded message, so I hope you guys enjoy no matter what kind of video it is. What's up guys, and welcome to my review, sorry it's not unboxing, but my review of the Philco Magistouch 2, however you pronounce it, um, full MX Cherry Blue Switches keyboard. And, sorry, it, the reason it's not a full unboxing is because I got it actually for Christmas, which was like two months, like a month and a half ago. And I just decided to do an unboxing of this. So, might as well start with like the feeling of it. This thing feels like you can murder someone with it because it's it's a brick, basically. And I'll show you, I'll give you like kind of a um, legit sound comparison in a minute for the tactile sound so it's not really focused but this is what we get for having low budget stuff so it's like it it's solid it doesn't flex it doesn't do anything one thing i would have liked to have seen was a sleeve cable but it's just a plastic style it's, um i believe it's like two meters it looks like but you can see it's just plastic rubber kinda it does have a PS2 connection um, adapter that you can put on the end but it's somewhere in my pile of random things because well I can't use it because I need to use a USB extension cable so I just decided to use this even though I just saw an idea I'll worry about that later but the cables come coiled up with a cable with this um, velcro like it's just a little velcro wrap it looks kinda nice but except for the pink Philco sign and if you didn't know these were all made in Japan so like on the box and everything there's a bunch of Japanese so it's kinda a pain in the butt but it's just looks whoops just looks like this and then there's that and if, let's see if I can get close enough. Come on. Dang. No, but the um, design of it, kind it's rough. And it looks like it has a carbon style um, finish on it. Because it's a gray with like, no, it's black with like gray spots. It's like a zebra. You can't tell if it's black with gray spots or gray with black spots. But this keyboard, it's a monster. So you can see it has a nice, small Philco, um, like manufacturer symbol in the corner it, there's nowhere else like I heard I believe it was a CM Storm that it had um it's Cooler Master everywhere on it and this keyboard is more oriented towards typers because first of all it um has two Windows keys one right here which most um people like gamers don't like because a lot of times if you're using WASD you accidentally bump it and it has one right here. And this um, isn't really a gaming keyboard at all because it doesn't even have macros on the side. So it doesn't have any macros, but I don't really care about that because I'm not a huge um, keyboard gamer. I use a controller for certain reasons. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is the full, I believe it's 104 key. It's not missing these, which is the num numpad otherwise you could get it if like you want to have a separate device or something you could have this and cut over so you don't have it's like just pretty much that and these keyboards are designed for quality not features because like it has two window well that doesn't really matter but like no macros or anything it's more for quality because this thing I, it's gonna last me forever literally and if you look on the back, let's see, it has really nice rubberized, it's not like super hard so it won't smooth at all, same on the bottom, and then it has these switches that will raise the back up a little, switches, um, whatever you call it, they are completely rubberized all the way around, so, same on the other side of course, let's see, just random 
do not remove sticker right there. And you can see it's, it's a you can't disconnect that cable, so it's not one of those fancy ones, but I really don't care because this thing is just amazing. I've used it for a long time. That's a piece of cat hair. I've used it for a long time so far, and I don't think I would have to try other keyboards, but I don't think I could get rid of this ever. First of all, because of my first real keyboard, and it's amazing. Like, and sorry about this, it's my pool table, so I can't really fix that. So, if you don't know what Cherry MX Blue switches sound like, they sound like this. Sorry if you can't really hear that, but um, it's kind of hard with a point and shoot. And also, the way they feel, I love MX Blues because you push it halfway down, like part of the way down. You feel a little bit of resistance, and then right as you hear that click, you don't even have to push it the rest of the way down. Unless you want to hit like multiple times, like multiple M's, for example, right here. You push it below that and hit a couple times or however many times you need it. Or you just go like that. It's your choice. So, other than that, it's a standard key layout. Shift, shift, caps lock, so on and so forth. And I actually would show you what what the um, blue switches look like underneath. But I don't have any um, key removers. But literally all they are is if you remove it, it looks like a little plus sign that's blue. And that's... That's the difference between the Cherry MX switches, like brown is brown, clear is clear, so on and so forth. But each switch has a different um, feel, and some of them, like this, I believe this is the only current one that actually has the tactile click. But I really like that click. And I know that it kind of bugged me at first, but once you get used to it, um, like it's fine. Sometimes if you click it like on a certain angle or something, it will make a pingy noise like Oh like it just I can't really make it good. That sounded really weird, but it makes a pingy noise whenever I like hit the S Kind of gets an it was really bugging me at first, but now it's like a satisfying sound So that's pretty much all I could say about this Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like comment and subscribe for more videos. See ya